Welcome to the lecture series of numerical methods. Today we are going to discuss about cubic spline interpolation. So this uh, cubic spline interpolation is another method of interpolation. So under this unit, this is the last topic and uh, interpolation, forward difference, divided difference that and all we have discussed earlier and uh, in this topic that is the cubic spline interpolation is differ from all the method. So in this method where this um, spline interpolation is applicable, what are the application of the spline interpolation? So we, we explain the spline method for interpolation using cubic spline. So the spline functions uh, which will be used in uh, design work design of aircraft wings, car bodies, etc. So at present uh, this topic that is the spline is used widely in computer graphic programs. So like that the applications are going under the numerical method. One more application in the numerical method is finite element method. That finite element method is not in our topic. So this cubic spline, how to do problem under cubic spline. Before that we can discuss the formula. Okay, so the cubic spline consider the problem of interpolating between the data x0, y0, x1, y1, etc., x and yn by means of spline fitting. Then the cubic spline f of x is such that f of x is a linear polynomial and f of x is a cubic polynomial in each of the sub intervals. And the third one f dash of x and f double dash of x are continuous at each point. So these are the things under the uh, cubic spline we have to remember. f of x is a linear polynomial. Actually f of x is linear in beyond the interval that is x0, xn. Apart from that only the function is linear polynomial. And in each sub interval the function f of x is a cubic polynomial. That means the polynomial of degree 3. And we know that uh, f dash of x and f double dash of x are continuous at each point. These are the very basic things under the cubic spline we should know the results. Now we can see the formula for cubic spline. Let the values of x be equispaced such that xi plus 1 minus xi equal to h then f of x is equal to xi plus 1 minus x whole power 3 by 6h into m suffix i plus x minus x i whole power 3 by 6 h into m i plus 1 plus x i plus 1 minus x by h into y i minus h square by 6 into m i plus x minus x i by h into y i plus 1 minus h square by 6 into m i plus 1. Can call this as equation 1. This equation is a spline equation. So in this one we have taken the given values that is the x data is such that equispaced. What is that equispaced? Equispaced in the sense the interval x0 to xn okay the difference between the x data is equal okay. So that is the reason why here for example it is written xi plus 1 minus xi which is equal to h. Then we have a equation this equation 1 is the equation of a spline. Under the spline, after find out the spline equation, if you want to find f dash of x, for that the formula is xi plus 1 minus x the whole square by 2h etc. So this equation 2, okay, equation 2 is an equation of f dash of x. Actually when we are doing a problem, we are going to find the spline equation for the given data. Okay. And in the given data, if suppose the question can be asked like this, in this interval, for example, 1 to 2, find the cubic spline and also find the f dash of x. In that case, what we are going to do, we can find the f of x by using the spline formula. After find out the f of x, you can differentiate that f of x, we can find out the f dash of x. So where we can use this result, that this may be asked like this. Uh, write the formula for f dash of x under the cubic spline. In that case, we can use this result. So you can remember this result for two more question. In that case, it will be very helpful. So after find out the cubic spline, that is written the f of x equation, the simplification is starts and it's over at uh, this equation m i minus one plus four m i plus m i plus one equal to six by h square into 
y i minus 1 minus 2 i plus y i plus 1 you can call this as equation 1 where f w h of x i equal to m i and here i takes the value 1 to n minus 1 it is very important. So, in the spline equation okay, after write out the spline equation we have written the f dash of x after the simplification continues we can reach the equation as equation 3. So, this is an important result. So, in this one i takes the value 1 to n minus 1 if suppose the given data uh, x0, x1, x2, etc. up to x3 for example if it may be up to x3 in that case here i takes the value 1 to n minus 1 that means our n is 3 so i equal to 1 to 3 minus 1 2 so we can substitute i equal to 1 we can get an equation and i equal to 2 we can get an another equation solving that two equation you can get the value of m1 and m2 Okay, so if the given data is x0 to x3, but we are getting the value for m1 and m2, then what about the remaining values? So here we have written, since the graph is linear for x less than x0, comma x greater than xn, then m0 equal to 0 and mn equal to 0. Call this as equation 4. Equations 3 and 4 gives n plus 1 equations in n plus 1 unknowns, where mi i equal to 0 to n which can be solved by substituting the value of i in equation 1 which gives the required cubic spline. So, here m1 and m2 value we are getting by using i equal to 1 and i equal to 2. So, obviously the value of m0 is 0, n equal to 3, so m3 equal to 0. So, using these two equations only we are finding the value of m0 and the last value of the data and the middle value of the data. After find out all the values, we are going back to equation 1. What is our equation 1? That is our spline equation. In this equation, we are going to substitute the values, okay, xi plus 1x, all the values we are substituting, we can get the value of a cubic spline. So, if suppose the given data x0 to x3, how to do the problem? First, we have to take here we have written look at this point f of x is a cubic polynomial in each of the sub intervals that means we have to take each interval x0 comma x1 that is the first case. In that case x0 to x1 for example if x0 is 1 and x1 is 2 means we have to take 1 to 2 ok. In that interval we are supposed to find the cubic spline equation ok. To find the spline equation before uh, start the process we are supposed to find the value of m0, m1, m2, mn values. After find out the values if I said no just now your x0 is 1 and x1 is 2 means you can substitute the values here and simplifying this we can get a first spline equation that is the first interval uh, spline equation. In the same manner we have to take the next interval x1 comma x2. Again we have to do the process and we are simplifying that we can get the next spline equation. Likewise for all the data that is for all the values given in the question for each interval we are supposed to find the spline equation. So, this is a lengthy process. So, this problem will come under 16 mark question only ok. So, the spline equation that is our f of x and f dash of x equation 1 and 2 separately this can be asked for 2 mark questions and using this the problem solving will come under 16 mark question only because the problem do solving under this topic is the lengthy process. So, that problem will come under 16 mark only. So, that is the reason why today we are discussing only the formula for cubic spline. The next lecture video we can solve a problem. So, how to do the problem under this spline equation? First, we have to write the result of this one. Okay. This result we are supposed to write. Using this result, we have to find the value of m0, m1, m2, whatever given in the data. Up to that, we have to find. Here we have written the general case m0 0, m and 0 in between values we are supposed to find. After find out these two values that is these values using these two equations after find out the values of m0 to mn we back to equation 1 that is back to equation of cubic spline and substituting that interval values that is xi plus 1x 
and the m values all the values here we are supposed to substitute after that simplifying this we can get an equation that equation must be a, a polynomial of degree 3 that is the reason why it is called it as cubic polynomial that means what it is a polynomial of degree 3 ok. So, if suppose in the question find the f dash at that interval means after find out the f of x we can differentiate that f of x to get the f dash of x. So, this is the method of problem solving under the cubic spline interpolation we will discuss the problem solving in the next lecture video ok. Thank you for watching.